running for Secretary of State? Uh, here in this state, uh, it seems like the Secretary of State's job is to make sure that his party gets into office, no matter what that office is. Uh, but that's really not the job of Secretary of State. This obviously is to have fairer and uh, vibrant uh, and uh, uh, just a, a lot back and forth kind of a, you know, a dialogue in elections. Uh, primarily, that's his, uh, his position. So I, our present Secretary of State wants to, for instance, increase a percentage of voters voting. And, and his way to do that is, uh, and he was working with ACORN, if anyone ever heard of that organization. Uh, and our office used to be next to a in the office, and I used to have to take the bus, and I used to have to sit next to people that were hired by a to walk and get signatures and have a voter signature. And, and uh, job wasn't to uh, ensure that these people actually were citizens or anything, or could actually vote, but uh, that was their job. Their job was simply to uh, turn in uh, all, all these pieces of paper. Uh, and of course, our Secretary of State was to uh, not look into these things, uh, uh, even though uh, uh, you know, he had obvious cases of voter fraud that pointed out to him, but he would say that, you know, you know, here in Minnesota, we're honest. My God, you know, we have such honesty. There's no need to look into these things. Uh, so, like uh, organizations like the uh, Minnesota Majority, you know, brought up by a couple thousand felons uh, in voting. And he did nothing, absolutely nothing. Uh, so that negates your vote. You know, with, with people who shouldn't be voting vote, uh, your vote doesn't count. And I think your vote should count. And I think if your vote counted, I think you'd one vote. So I would like to increase one way is to make sure that your vote counts when you go to vote. If you know that's an honest election. And it is not, you know, the ballot box isn't being stuffed uh, with uh, names and so forth of people who are dead or uh, have no right to vote. So, uh, I think that we should have a free market in elections. Uh, well, why can't we have a free market almost in uh, all these other areas? And, and, and we can't have it in politics. Uh, I remember. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, you know, after you're watching the elections, and you know, they always told the percentages of the libertarian is told you. We were always uh, counted. Uh, you know, and it would be really cool to see that, you know. Of course, uh, they don't do that anymore. Uh, we're rather invisible, and uh, you never hear about third parties, and uh, the uh, governor's election is always a horse race, and uh, two weeks before the election, which is when the Star Tribune is planning to do this, is uh, you know, they tell you about the Secretary of State and the State Auditor. Well, no one knows what these people do, <laughs> but but you never hear about them, uh, you know, uh, and you never hear any issues uh, for anyone running for government. So I, you know, I, if if we could get more parties running, then then we would have more vibrant elections. We would have more people voting. I mean, Jesse went out there, and I swear he found the, uh, the libertarians in every bar in the state or something. <laughs> and it got them to go out to vote. Uh, he, he greatly increased the voter turnout. So it's possible, you know, if you get people excited, rather than, you know, the old, uh, well, like in the election he was running, that is, you know, we were narrowed down to three HMOs, and uh, Skip Humphrey was supposed to win, and then uh, with three, just three HMOs, you know, rather than you know thousands of hospitals and tens of thousands of doctors and all these clinics and stuff to try to control everything under three HMOs. Was, well, then we would have had Obamacare back in '98, so Jesse got elected, and that uh, that changed everything. Um, you know, we, we we need we need more people running. So I would. Uh, I was out uh, of this session uh, at the legislature, I was sitting through the uh, elections committees and, and uh, commenting on uh, legislation that they were contemplating. I, I didn't hold back at all. <laughs> they didn't carry it over. I said, you know, the you know, Democrats are trying to you know, steal elections or whatever. And, 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 uh, they certainly didn't like that, but, but uh, they couldn't really say they weren't trying to. <laughs> 
so I, you know, I would like to, I would like to have a secretary of state that would have input on. I, I will give input whether they want it or not on all legislation involving elections. Uh, I will try to change the election law so that going back to when we were we, we first became a state, we only needed one percent of, uh, of of petitions, uh, signatures, I should say, uh, petitions to be a major party. Uh, so that would, there's three ways to be a major party in this. Only one way has ever been tried. The other two are impossible. So one requires you to get like 150,000 signatures, good signatures. Uh, and it's never been tried in over 100 years. Uh, but if you, that's the 5% of the people that are going to help. So you can narrow that down to one percent. That's 30 And if we get it like to North Dakota, North Dakota, they get like almost oh, two years. I mean, 18 months, something like that. Uh, that's doable. You know, we could have like six, say, major parties or whatever. I think that would be extremely exciting. Uh, and I think that would get people out to vote. Uh, and, you know, the way the recount is done, uh, I have a friend that was helping uh, as a volunteer in the recount, and I think he's been in there. Thank you. 